Well, how many people are tired of fake? Raise your hand. I know this whole generation is tired. I've had 30 years of fake and pharisaical preachers. And stop me if you've heard this one. You watch. I'm going to show you some tricks to spot uh, some salesmen. So stop me if you've heard this one. We were turned in after the commercial uh, to the preacher's YouTube channel. Then he'll start it off. Now type it in the chat. Where are you from? Let, let us know where you type it from uh, so we can give you some shouts out. Well, they don't do that because they really care about you. They do that to start off the YouTube algorithm. If you get a bunch of people typing or comment comment if you, now listen now after the video and after probably i don't know if there were any good parts of the video they'll have a commercial on there too um probably selling something that shouldn't be on a christian video but it'll be uh i don't know what's the other one sorry i listen to the headphones so i can keep my audio but what's it oh, okay yeah let me know let me know what you think about this uh, subject matter we're talking just go ahead and type me a little comedy comment in there and, uh, and make sure you visit our store and buy some of our coffee in my my book of the week you join my book of the week club get the my airplane needs gas so you get to get me the book of the week club and then uh, i'll make sure you like us and so subscribes or if you're perry stone make sure you hit the thumbs up button <laughs> Uh, God bless you, Perry. We're going to talk about seven-year rapture theory and its total lack of being in the Bible um, today. Uh, so we'll start with that. Uh, sorry, I was having some fun there. But I'm just so tired of fake. I mean, it, it, I literally want to throw up every time I watch most of these guys. Now, there's some good ones. Now, don't get me wrong. Bastion, Mario Murillo, he's good. He's the real deal. I think he still thinks he's Bride of Christ, but I forgive him. He's got healing and stuff going on in his uh, meetings. Like if, he, if healing's going on, Jesus is showing up. So, and I've got a local church by me that's the same deal. I mean, uh, people getting saved, set free, delivered, and healed. So God's working there. So... That's how you know you're a dead church. It's not working. But no, nowhere. It's, it's not biblical. Nowhere in the Bible. Jesus does come back, but it's not. Jesus doesn't kill everybody. Take Come back, get us, kill everybody, and then bring us back. It's, no, biblical is not. It's just stupid. Um, but I, I, I'll show you the references of where people think that is you know in the twinkling of an eye we'll all be caught up to be with the lord well that's like in the the end end when the dead in christ are raised because jesus will even tell you that doesn't happen till after his thousand year reign on earth when jesus is in his he's in a physical body we are in physical bodies because there's still death there's a a town there there's a city that the whole world gathers to that's the bride um because the holy city falls from heaven that's the lamb's bride that's the only time in the whole bible that lamb's bride jesus bride is mentioned it talks about her gates or something i'm not going to paraphrase because it's a revelation and i don't want to lose my soul like or have all those plagues added to me like some preachers will have happened and you're seeing some of them die now because they have made up their own book of revelations and you know they're paying for it well, I'm not, and also one of those curses is to have your name blotted out of the book of life. So when you hear me talk about Revelation, we're just going to read it straight from Revelation. And I'm not going to uh, get out the scissors and have to cut and paste anything to make some false gospel that doesn't exist. And that's never existed. And you're going to see it's just some click. It's like the government. They want to protect themselves from... It's like Mayorkas and his impeachment things. You know, I doubt it goes through Senate, but like he he knows he's protected. This way, he won't answer any questions or anything. Like even when they were questioning yesterday about, they said, "Why haven't you? Why aren't you doing your job protecting the border?" 
at least like starting a window. They're like, well, he's like, oh well, the Congress hasn't changed, hadn't added to immigration since 1996, and we need more magistrates and more. What they, what he's talking about is, we need more help bringing more people in. It wasn't more we need to stop. And I have no problem with people coming here, but they're not doing background checks. And it's going to be involved in another part of the Bible, Mystery Babylon. I'll do a thing on that. Are we Mystery Babylon? And I, we're the only country that checks off every box. There are some countries that check off a few boxes. We are the only country that checks off every box. So I'm going to try to keep these videos short. So sorry, there will be like a lot of them. I'll try to keep them down around six to ten minutes or something because that's the average human only has an attention span of 60 seconds actually that's why you see we do a lot of shorts videos but uh, uh, six minutes is pushing so we'll stop here about the six minute mark this will be video one we'll start with actual bible reading in the next one